An urban experiment is underway in, in Chicago's past its prime meatpacking district. This old building used to be the pier meatpacking plant. We take derelict industrial buildings and convert it into a vertical farming community. Try to have a continuous harvest cycle where and make the food where the food is consumed. In a closed ecosystem. We're looking for ways to close energy loops. He's testing out an aquaponics growing system. Fish and plants. With the help of insanely creative students and staff at the Illinois Institute of Technology, it also synthesizes waste, redirecting everything it outputs back into another process. The production processes of building tenants are being combined. We try to pair people up with the mission of the building. Socially conscious tenants who could bakers and brewers and... Uh, you know, the press is great. It's great to have all this continuous media coverage. It's kind of annoying sometimes, but you know. <laughs> We put up with it because we need to get our story out for a couple of reasons. One of them is to attract volunteers, which we've had no problem doing um, on a typical day. Like yesterday, I don't know, we had 15 people here. Tie them on here? Uh, yeah, the little okay. chain's hooked to here. In construction, generally, there is a ton of wasted material. He's making uh, smart decisions, reusing as much as possible. Awesome. And so, once I'm just trying to make more opportunities for myself. Construction is, is terribly slow. So what are these? Uh, these are floor tiles we reused from other parts of the building. We're going to try to clean them all up and use them in parts where we need to redo the floor. Yeah, it was funny though because we were trying to be quiet so John could be interviewed. So she's like, oh, just keep doing what you're doing. I'm like, well, I'm not trying to make noises. Like, you know, what do you, do you want me to make noises? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Our, our primary product here at the plant is B-roll. I think everybody's attracted to a project like this because it doesn't take a lot of knowledge to make sense. It's just combining existing technologies that have been around a long time anaerobic digestion, cogeneration, combining to power, growing plants, cooking food, reusing stuff. You know, this is all, you could have done this in the depression. You the know? beer doesn't hurt either. Nah, it doesn't hurt much. <laughs> Everybody's attracted by the beer. It hurts a little. Much. The green thumbs in this place also do the demolition work for free, though volunteer nights are being planned which will involve free beer. A lot of people just want to be near a brewery and we understand completely what that's some, like. Some of the coverage is more wildly inaccurate than other coverage. Um, the WGN piece was particularly all over the place. Some young entrepreneurs though on the south side are trying aquaphonics. It was great. I mean it was all like totally positive stuff. The building holds relics from its meatpacking past. Old signs, random butcher knives. But you know ultimately it's fine. It doesn't make that much difference. It's there. Cool. If there's anything that these guys would be doing, yeah. we love human activity. So, like, if they're inspecting plants or doing something with the fish, I don't know. More That's what I was just setting up over there. Yeah, more people over here, better. The thing about media coverage is that it, whether you like it or not, it validates you as a company. Maybe this will be the opportunity to compare what we're doing here and tie it in to what's going on in the markets and oh, as yeah. a new investment opportunity. Sure, of course. You know, because it's getting insane out there and like, uh, well, I have thoughts, I have comments. Yeah, yeah, particularly in that second one because you'll have five minutes. Okay, But yeah, cool. I, mean, uh, I mean, talk to Jeff about that. He's, he's willing to, you know, pretty much go wherever you like. <laughs> cool, <laughs> cool. We're a little difficult, it's a little difficult to see in there. Yeah. Is there a way, do you net them out ever? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Let's do that. Let's do that. Oh, oh, there you go. <laughs> so that would have made a great piece. That would have made a great piece. 45 seconds. Grow for folks like that. Food. It seems like people are now even starting to put more of an emphasis on eating local than necessarily eating organic. And Jeff Flock is live in Chicago at a company that's figured out a pretty unique way to capitalize on that idea. How are you doing, Jeff? I love these stories, Diane, uh, particularly startups. It's always a very, you know, interesting, vibrant environment. And this is a, a really interesting one. So we're using fish to grow plants. The plants clean the water for the fish, and the uh, fish provide nutrients for the plant. It's interesting that Fox Business Network came and not these so-called liberal channels that are following, you know, these buzzwords.
Because it's business. Business is business. Uh, it could be a piece of the future here, and it's great to see young entrepreneurs, uh, you know, uh, launching a business that they both feel good about, as well as one that holds the prospect of maybe making them some money someday. It's a really creative idea. I just don't want to have to see my fish swimming around in the tank before I have to see it on my plate. I might get emotionally attacked. You know, I mean, a lot of people do ask the same question. The main question is, when is it going to be finished? <laughs> While much of the building is still under construction. <laughs> There's not a lot to look at yet in this building known as the plant. Most of the space is still a construction site. And, you know, the answer is always, I don't know. Um, you know, when it's done, when it's done, it's finished. You know, this is a continuum of we've already got food coming out of this building right now. This tub of salad fixing is several days old, but it's still very tasty. Yeah, right now this bed is just cranking out so much arugula, it's hard to stay on top of it. When it's this size, we can easily get a pound per board. And there are, I think, 56 boards in the system. Six to eight dollars a pound, maybe. And then they turn over, it takes about three weeks. We're trying to encourage other people to do the same thing we're doing, and so the best way to get that out there is through those mainstream media outlets. If you'd like to see some of the designs of what the plant may look like. You know, changing the minds of the political class and of the existing architectural industrial complex of people that do normal development. Uh, we need to change their minds and show them that there's a different way to do stuff than the way they've always been doing it because what they're doing doesn't work anymore.